Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira and for today's video, I am going to be doing something that's been suggested by some of you guys. Since I know that most of you who watch my videos are also into architecture or are actually taking up architecture. So this video is going to be what every Archie Freshie needs to know. So I'm gonna start off with the materials that you will be needing these are like the really essentials essentials and then after that i am going to be giving a few tips and techniques that you can bring with you in your everyday archie life without further ado let's jump right into the video Woo! so first off before you buy these materials you need to know where to buy these materials so these are the stores that i know of at least here in metro manila first one is of course national bookstore which is like my favorite store in the whole world <laughs> Na kayo nung NBS card as in sobrang helpful nun. Almost all necessary supplies are in national bookstore. And then those really specific ones, architecture, can be found in art stores. Art stores here in Metro Manila that I know of are the first one is Start 101, which is inside UP. It's located at the Centennial Dorm. And then dun talaga ako bumibili na ng lahat ng supplies ko kasi malapit lang. And then if you're near in the Manila area talaga, as in sa USD ganun. Of course, there's Jollies. Yun yung talagang OGs pagdating sa Archie Supplies. Marami din akong binili doon nung freshie ako. And dun ko din binili yung drafting table ko. So, I'll leave their descriptions in the description box down below. So anyways, okay, let's move on to the materials. First and most important material that you need is a drafting table. Duh, of course. So yeah, I bought mine at Jolly's. It was, I think, only around 2,000 pesos. Ganon. And sobrang basic lang niya. As in, wala. Drafting table lang. Ganon. You can also find drafting tables at National Bookstore. Ganon. And then, depends na lang sa'yo on what kind you want. Kasi sa akin, it's just like wood talaga. But others, meron silang glass. Ganon. Whatever. Pero, okay na sa basic. <laughs> Next material that you need is this. This sword. <laughs> of course, you need a T-square to do your plate. So mine is from Stedler. Yung ibang brands na maganda, Rot Ring, I think. And this is around, I think this is the 36 inch one. Yeah, it's the 36 inch one. And then you can also get like a mini T-square at National. So I bought this one. Ito maganda to kung maliit lang naman yung papel na dino drawingan nyo or sketch models. This is also good. Next thing that you need is a canister or a tube. So this is what mine looks like. Nabili ko sa National. Maganda, nabilhin nyo na yung malaki. Meron din ako ng mga maliliit, pero hindi siya kasing tibay nito. Next, we have triangles. So, meron akong dalawang set. This is the first one that I bought. This is from Stedler. I have both the 90 degrees na triangle and then the 30, 60, 90 triangle. And then, ito kasi, it's okay, but I don't like it that much kasi may, may umbok siyang pag anon. So, hindi siya like flat na flat. So, bumili ako ng second set. So, maganda talaga kapag bumili ka yung triangle, yung flat lang. As in, it's yun ba? <laughs> kasi kapag medyo may umbok siya, medyo gumaganong ka din kapag nagda-draft ka. And maganda to kasi may kasama na siyang protractor, which is something that you also need in architecture. Next, most important Again, it's the scale ruler because kung wala ka nito, hindi ka makakapag draft. I got mine from National, so I don't know, it's just a basic scale ruler. But I also have another one. Ito, it's a fan type. Ganyan. Kapag hindi nyo bet lagi magdala ng ganito kalaki sa bag nyo, ganito na lang. Lagay nyo na sa pencil case nyo. For templates, I have the circular template. Ito, important din to when you're drafting yung mga titles, ganon. And then I have a furniture template. This one is from Rotring and its scale is 1 is to 50. Meron ding ibot ibang scales sa uh, furniture templates. Pero I think 1 is to 50 is the most basic. Next, we have tapes. Kung ako sa inyo, bilhin nyo na lahat ng kinds ng tape na mahanap nyo. Kasi sobrang useful niya. So, ito pinaka useful is the masking tape, of course. Gusto ko yung maliit lang para madali na siyang dalhin sa pencil case. And then I also have scotch tape. Kasi. Ewan ko, everybody needs scotch tape. Then, bumili na rin ako ng double-sided tape. Minsan, kailangan mo ng tape eh. Hindi po alam kung bakit, pero kailangan mo. <laughs> now, we move on to my pencil cases. So, right now, I have three pencil cases. Snapperate ko na lahat. So, this is my first one. It's a Barbie pencil case. So cute! Ayan, so nandito yung mga pencils ko for drafting. Yung mga ganitong types, madalas yung 
kinagamit for drafting and then may different ano siya ano ba tawag doon labels <laughs> marami kasing types na pwede kang bilhin na ganito so for me the most important one to have is yung H kasi yung H yung light lang Yun yung guidelines mo ganun and then HB para siyang yung normal mongol pencil number 2 ata. Ganon. So, maganda din siya. Yun yung pinakamadalas ko din na ginagamit. And then, the next one is F. Para sa akin, hindi siya nagsasmudge. So, ang ganda din niya. And then, B. Yun yung pinakamakapal. Sa doon yung draft mo, yung kailangan mong i-emphasize. So, Ayun. Of course, you also need to have erasers. Erasers lagi. Yung ganitong pencil, wala siyang erasers. So, mahirap na. And then, sharpener. I prefer this type of sharpener. Yung meron na siyang lalagyan para hindi mo na kailangan maghanap ng trash can every time na gusto mong i-sharpen yung pencil mo. The next pencil case are all of my ball pens for drafting. Mine is Unipin and Artline. So, again, may iba't ibang labels. Ito. So, for me, the, the ones that I like are 0.05 kasi yun talaga yung sobrang satisfying na sobrang thin ng lines. And then, 0.1 then for furniture, ganyan. 0.3 is like for regular stuff. And then, 0.5 yung medyo kailangan mo emphasize And then, 0.7 is yung talagang kailangan mo emphasize Basically, yung mga odd numbers yung gusto ko. And then, have another pencil case na nandito yung mga bulky items or mga extra items. Stapler is always important kasi sinastaple mo yung mga plates mo. And then, I have a mini pair of scissors. I like having mini stuff para madali siyang ilagay sa pencil case. Like yung stapler ko, mini lang din. I have a mini protractor. And then, I have also have a mechanical pencil. This is also very useful. Ito na nalagay ko na din sa pencil case ko is USB. You, you always need to have a USB with you. Minsan, hindi mo alam kung kailan mo siya kakailanganin. So, better na you always have one in your bag. And then, next eto naman oh my god ano tawag dito compass this compass ginagamit din namin to na nag the draft kami nung earlier year so i have two so ito guys bilhin na kayo kapag bumili kayo bumili na lang kayo ng mura kasi ito yung first kong binili first from Rotring and it this cost like ayan 462 pesos and then this one is from Jollies it's just 98 pesos. And honestly, mas ginagamit ko to. Kasi ito, pwede kang maglagay ng ball pen or pencil. Ito, pencil lang. Kasi naka, parang it comes with the pencil already. Ito, may butas. So, mas useful siya. So guys, tipid-tipid din pag may time. Another favorite of mine is a drafting brush. Sobrang satisfying lang gumanong ganun. <laughs> After mo mag-draft, para malinis lagi yung drafting table mo. Next, let's talk about paper. Because there are a lot of paper when it comes to architecture. So, the ones that you really need is, first, is yung A4 size paper. Ito yung pinakagamit din namin. Also, for thesis, A4 yung paper type na ginamit namin. So, bilhin na kayo na isang malaking bulk sa National Bookstore. For drafting, we also use A3 size paper. So, A3 is just double A4. Also, have a set of short bond paper for your other subjects. Yun, kasi kapag nagpapas kayo ng papers as in, in other subjects it's usually A4 or short bond so dapat meron na kayong stock nun of course for drafting you make use of tracing paper tracing paper madali na yung hanapin if it's up to you what kind of paper you're gonna use I also like hopia paper hopia para siyang tracing paper pero mas manipis and for me so maganda yung labas ng pencils and pens sa hopia kaysa sa tracing yung tracing kasi medyo madulas siya i like hopia better you also need to have a big pencil case pencil case or lunchbox in architecture you're also going to be rendering a lot manually so you're gonna need markers so i have one bag full of them these are kore color markers. Others suggest Copic markers, pero mas mahal sila. And for me, the most important colors that you need are like, of course, black, and then yung mga gray. So, they have cool tones and warm tones. May numbers pa yun, ha? So, like, ito, cool gray 10. Ito, tas may warm gray 6. For me, maganda yung mga uh, sa mga warm gray 1, tas kuha ka ng isa sa gitna. So, mga 6. And then, kuha ka ng mga Nasa malayo. So, warm gray 10. Ganon. Another thing na very useful are the greens. When you're rendering, you're rendering a lot of nature. Ganon. Mga trees, whatever. Maganda marami kang greens. 
my favorite one is this one. It's 542 mid green. And then a lot of browns as well for wood, as well as yun nga, nature, my brown, oatmeal, uh, mid brown, beige. Ito maganda din doon, light bisque for fleshy type colors. And then blues din maganda for water, ganyan. Basta yun yung pinaka kailangan. And then meron akong pink kasi. <laughs> Sino ba may kailangan ng pink na marker sa architecture? Wala, ako lang. <laughs> so ayun. And then last materials that you need are when you're making a sketch or scale model. So, ito yung mga pinaka-useful. So, of course, you need to have your cutter. Um, I forgot what this brand is, but this was suggested by my prof. But, basta alam ko, parang Japan made yung brand niya. Pero, you can buy it at National Bookstore and I really like it. Mas maganda yung mga maliliit kesa dun sa malalaking cutters, mga mga kapal. Or, if you want, you could just buy an exacto knife kasi talagang mas sharp ata kapag ganun. You also need to have a metal ruler. Never use a normal triangle or a ruler when you're cutting stuff for your skill model kasi ito yung gagamitin mong pang cut sa mga boards mo, ganun. So, kailangan talaga metal siya kasi kung regular lang, masisira siya agad. Tapos hindi mo na magagamit triangle mo. Sayang naman. You need to have also a cutting mat. If you're just gonna buy one, I suggest this buy the A3 na para malaki na agad. But if you could buy two, also buy an A4 one para madali lang siya isiksik sa bag mo kapag kailangan mo siya. And then, let's talk about boards. Yung mga kinds ng boards na ginagamit sa model. Kasi nung nag-model making kami, walang sinadjust sa amin. The one that I like using the most is Bristol board. Alright? <laughs> Bristol board, para yung texture niya para lang siyang normal folder pero malaki lang yung size so yun yung pinaka gusto ko kasi madali siyang i-fold ganun magaan lang siya for like massing purposes lang maganda din just use cardboard kasi para madali lang mad para madali na yung buhay niyo guys another one that you need to have always is an illustration board um you could use it for the base yun din yung type ng material na hindi mo alam kung kailan mo kakailanganin so maganda na may stock ka na for glue when it comes to scale models i like using the uhu glue yun yung brand name you can also use normal elmer's glue kapag madali lang yung model pero kapag gusto mong talagang stick na stick siya uhu glue I also tried using Mighty Bond. Okay din naman ang Mighty Bond, pero nakakasar siya kasi madalas siya mag-stick sa kamay mo. Alam mo yun, mas nag-stick pa yung model sa kamay mo kaysa dun sa base. Nakakainis. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, I'm going to say a few tips, tricks, techniques that I learned in architecture that's very useful, especially those na freshy pa lang. First tip is be resourceful. Being resourceful, honestly, is, is one of the greatest lessons that architecture will teach you. Kasi kailangan mo means of improvise some materials. For example, when it comes to model making, kung ano na lang maisip mo na material eh, it's a balloon stick, toothpick, kung ano ano, you know. So always be resourceful. And for example, then <laughs> freshy story. So nung freshy ako, we had to have A4 size tracing paper. Wala sa national, as in walang A4 size. Merong tracing paper, pero walang A4 size. Pero oh my gosh, kailangan namin A4 size eh. Pwede na yan. Pumunta pa kami sa malayong mall, ganun, para bumili ng A4 tracing paper. Tapos sabi ko sa ko, ay naku, kung sa Jollies lang ako pumunta, mayroon na silang A4 paper agad eh. So, nung pumunta kaming Jollies, the next time, bumili na ako ng maraming stock. Sabi ko, A4 tracing po. And then, pagkakita ko, yung ginagawa lang nila is yung Yun nga, yung malaking tracing paper, kinakat nila into A4 size. Tapos parang ako, ganun lang din pala. Eh, so, ano ako nalang gumawa sa bahay. Diba? So, always, always be resourceful. Kasi sayang sa time, sa pera. Number two, always clean your tools. Example, ito sa triangles, after nyo gamitin, dapat lagi nyo siyang nililinis. Kasi minsan, nagbi-bleed yung pens or pencils dito sa sides. After drafting, always clean it with tissue. Yung tissue, lagyan nyo ng alcohol. Tapos, i- Rub, rub, rub nyo lang. And yun, manis na siya. So do it for the triangles, your rulers, your T-square. Ganun. Number three, trace from your laptop. I know not everyone is confident with their drawing skills. Ako din naman, hindi ako confident sa drawing skills ko. Especially when it came to perspectives. Tapos yung kailangan mo mag-drawing ng mga tao, tsaka kotse, mga puno, tsaka... 
one thing that you can do is you can have your laptop, put the brightness into the highest level, put your tracing paper over it, and then just trace a picture of a car or a person dun sa plate nyo. As in, sobrang helpful tip niya. Mas magmumukha pang realistic yung kotse mo kapag trinase mo siya. Number four, try drawing techniques from YouTube. Honestly, a good amount of college is just self-studying. So if you don't feel inspired or motivated or hindi mo alam kung anong gagawin mo, search ka lang sa YouTube. Ang dami daming tutorials dyan. I'll leave some links of some of the tutorials that helped me when I was a student. Number five, stop worrying about the tiniest mistake. Hindi naman may iiwasan na kapag gumagawa ka ng design plates mo, minsan meron kang merong like maliit na dumi or maliit na ink na hindi mo alam kung paano napunta doon or minsan ito yung madalas na nangyayari sa akin every time I finish a plate and then kapag tatanggalin ko na yung masking tape sa gilid ah! napupunit! napupunit yung tracing paper ko so para ako oh my gosh! natagapin ba doon ang proof ko? and the answer is most likely yes <laughs> If ever you have a problem, na feel mo may something na mali dun sa plate mo, always ask yourself first if it's worth it. Kasi kapag inulit mo, sobrang daming time na naman na kailangan para gawin yun. Isipin nyo kung kunwari may maliit lang na punit dyan, o oh, edi bigyan ka ng minus 5, ganun. O, oh, pero pasado ka pa din, diba? So yun, just stop. Stop worrying about the tiniest mistakes. Kasi minsan hindi yun naman yun mapapansin ng proof mo. <laughs> Number six, ito, never pass late. It's really better to pass incomplete than late kasi kapag incomplete ka, edi mas mababa lang yung grade mo. Pero kapag late ka, zero yung grade mo. So diba, anong mas pipiliin mo? <laughs> Number seven, don't stay up all night every night. In Arky, sobrang uso ang all-nighters. Sometimes it is necessary, pero don't do it every single night kasi it's not good for you. Just manage your time better. Mag-all-nighter na lang kayo kapag malapit na talaga yung deadline. Pero kapag malayo pa, wag muna. Wag nyo muna i-stress sarili nyo. Saka na yung stress? just go. <laughs> Number eight, make friends with upperclassmen. In UP Arky, friendly naman lahat ng mga tao dun. As in, it's so easy to make friends or to meet new people because everyone is just very accommodating and tutulungan talaga nila kayo kapag may tulong kayo or may favor ganun kasi tulong-tulungan talaga dapat. Don't be afraid to make friends with the higher years. <laughs> Bait naman yan. Hindi naman nila kaya ukakagatin. Number nine, reward yourself. Minsan, mawawalan ka ng motivation when you're doing your plates. Ganun. So, just always have a reward in mind kapag natapos mo tong thing na to. Like, it doesn't have to be something expensive, whatever. Sometimes it's just, okay, after I finish this plate, I'm going to watch one episode of Friends. I'm going to order McDo or whatever, ganon. Basta, always try to motivate yourself by rewarding yourself. Kasi, deserve mo din naman yun. Number 10, stop comparing yourself with others. Comparing yourself to others is just makes you human. It doesn't make you bad. Ganon. Pero, as much as possible, kapag na-feel nyo na, na padating na yung feeling na yun, stop. As in, sabi nyo, stop. No, no, hindi ko yun gagawin today. Minsan, mahirap siyang iwasan. Like, kapag nakikita mo yung mga batch mates mo, na ang galing mag-drawing, ang galing mag-design. So, ang pot ba ako nandito sa Arky? Bakit ako nandito? Naligaw ba ako? Ganon. Just try to remind yourself always that you are good enough. And just because someone else is better than you at drawing, ganon, that doesn't necessarily mean you are a failure when it comes to doing as in no guys you will always be good enough and if at the end of the day it still bothers you then do something about it try to improve ask help from your batchmates sanong nyo kung paano yung techniques nila ganun patuloy na kayo kaibiganin ninyo na mahirap lampasan ng arky kung mag-isa ka lang so magtulong-tulungan na lang kayo finally the last advice that i'm going to give is this to double think your course is normal if you survive one year of college and you tell me that never once did you doubt your course you're lying you're a liar <laughs> I think every college student goes through that. I think every college student needs to go through that. It doesn't necessarily mean that you did something wrong, but I think you're actually doing something right because you're putting your own happiness before 
anything else. So you really have to ask yourself, am I happy in this course? Or will I be happier in a different course? It's not at all shameful. A good percentage of students, especially in UP, have shifted courses, transferred schools, not graduated on time. And that's okay. That's normal. That's just how life is. So just always trust the timing of your life and always trust your heart. Listen to it because most of the time it will tell you what you really need and want so that at the end of the day you won't have any regrets in life. Hashtag no regret. Oh my gosh, I'm going na. So tara, outro na tayo. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I post a new video. Comment down below what other kinds of videos you want to see next and I will see you again next time. Bye!